have still some 15 minutes, so I think we can hope for two questions. So. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking long because I don't like those bottom questions. <laughs> I have here a question uh, by the Anarchist Anonymous. Would anybody of them want to... <laughs> The question is, are you an anarchist? If so, don't you think it will be more interesting to look at the uprisings in the Middle East with an anarchist approach instead of simply reproducing the media stories, for instance, calling it democracy uprisings, and to speak about what the people want to do instead of the governments, the people instead of the governments. Well, there's, uh, the, yeah, I, would, I mean, anarchism is a pretty broad term to mean all sorts of things. I, I call myself an anarchist in the sense in which I understand anarchism. I've written about it. It's a major strain in the tradition. It's not everybody's interpretation. As far as I'm concerned, anarchism is just a tendency in human life and history which seeks to which investigates structures of authority and domination and demands that they justify themselves. That is, that it doesn't regard them as self-justifying. And that goes, well, going back to what I said before, it goes back from families to international society. So anytime there's a structure of justification and domination, it has a burden of proof. It has to show that it's legitimate. If it can't show that it's legitimate, it should be dismantled. And that's a kind of a permanent tendency in history to go on forever, as long as history goes on. So I think that's the core concept of anarchism, and in that sense, yes, I think everybody should be an anarchist. <laughs> uh, sometimes just occasionally. <laughs> I think sometimes justifications are possible. Like for example, if I'm walking down the street with my uh, three-year-old granddaughter. And she runs out into the street, and I grab her hand and pull her back. That's a structure of authority. But I think it's justifiable. Uh, but the point is, every one of them has to be justifiable. And usually they can't justify themselves. And then you get popular movements, make some progress in the world. Uh, but uh, going back to the uprisings in the Arab world, you have to describe them in terms of what's happening, and not in terms of what we wish was happening. And what's happening, I think, is important. They call themselves democracy uprisings. I'm happy to use their self-description. Uh, they're trying to achieve formal democracy. Uh, as I mentioned, the regimes haven't changed, but they're, what they're trying to do is a good idea. So take Egypt. Uh, Egypt has already improved. There's now a free press. Press, press is free, quite free. That's a big, big step forward over the state-controlled press. Uh, some of the worst repressive structures have been dismantled, like the security services, the torturers, and so on. All that's good. Uh, the regime hasn't changed. Its socioeconomic power remains about where it was. But it's being challenged now, coming to an anarchist perspective. I have time to talk about it. But I, I mentioned that the uh, workers' movement in Egypt has a long history of protest. It's just come out of nowhere. Uh, and what they're doing, there isn't much news about it. You know, reporters don't look, but what appears to be happening in major industrial installations, like, say, this Mahala textile plant that I mentioned, the source of the April 6 movement, it seems the workers are taking over the factories and running them themselves. Okay, that's a real revolution, and uh, committed anarchists should cheer, and that's things that we should be talking about. But we can't pretend that they are beyond what they are. You know, we can see signs of them. And, you know, we can't do much to encourage them. But we should be uh, happy about it, I think, and uh, uh, regard it as kind of like a model for other things that can be done, just like here. Uh, but that's happening. Uh, as far as anarchists and anonymous are concerned, it's a terrific group. I and mean, I'm sure you know what they've done. But for example, when uh, when uh, the U.S. government tried to shut down WikiLeaks and particular corporations like Amazon and Google and I forget what other, a couple others banned them. Uh, uh, Anarchist Anonymous 
attacked those corporations and shut them down. That's great. <laughs> 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 